Tonight on Nightcast, Storm Center 3 brings you the dramatic pictures and stories from the 97 flood. We are on the scene as night falls and so does the water. But more rain means more worry. It was nothing but a river through here. Yeah. Team coverage of the 97 flood continues right now. Good evening. We are starting to total up the damage after record rainfall, and it is staggering. And many areas are still underwater tonight, and the rain continues to fall. These are some of the first pictures taken from Air 3 in southern Jefferson County this morning. The 97 flood has already damaged 35,000 homes and businesses. The damage already estimated at more than $51 million. And we've been told that Governor Patton has already pledged state aid for flood victims. And Jefferson County Judge Dave Armstrong has also requested federal aid. And the rain continues to cause problems throughout the area. I-64 from Melwood to Grinstead just reported closed tonight. And the problem's only getting worse, John and Craig. Yeah, it's, uh, Absolutely. It, it's been unbelievable. A record-breaking day, huh? One of the things that we've been looking at just over the past few minutes is the amount of rain that we've received today. And we've been talking about the fact that it's been a record. But now we're into the double digits, folks. It looks yeah. like we're uh, moving up close to 11 inches. That's right. Now, th previously, the, this is uh, since weather records began in Louisville, the 24-hour rain record, 6.97 inches. And, Craig, as of uh, 9.30, the 24-hour period when the rain began, 9.6 inches. Um, and, of course, uh, we've had an hour and a half now of heavy, of, rain. Of heavy rain. I would imagine uh, we'll find out the total in a few minutes here, but we could be up around 11 right. inches. Uh, this is at the National Weather Service office uh, out of Smyrna Lane, just uh, south mm -hmm. of the Snyder there. So, Which is very close to some of these areas that were hard hit by the flooding. Let me take you over here to the radar and show you what's going on right now as we take a closer look at our storm track Doppler radar. We've got some pretty heavy showers right now just to the north of Shepherdsville. And once again, the area we've been talking about all along has been right around the outer loop and I-65. This area was the hardest hit uh, back to the east into the Oklahoma area, and then back off to the west into the uh, Fairdale area. We'll take a closer look. We'll zoom in on our uh, radar system here, show you a close look down into uh, Bullitt County. And once again, you'll get oriented here. Hillview, Oklahoma right here, Valley Station off the west, Fairdale right through here. This is Outer Loop. Uh, right here. We've got very heavy rain taking place in this area right now. It's continuing to advance to the east. The good news is that after this system pushes on to the east, we should be in pretty good shape coming up over the uh, next few hours as the rain will start to taper off. It looks like the bulk of the moisture is pushing on through. And it looks like the chance of severe weather is beginning to dissipate in the area as well. John's been taking a look at that on the next rad system, and we're ready to take a look at that and see what we've got over there. Yeah, and uh, and that rain you're showing there, the red, that is blinding rain. So the, it is. the folks were, you know, you were up in the uh, Air 3 helicopter mm -hmm. all day today, and you saw it go back down. I would imagine some levels uh, may be going back up again uh, as, oh, we, I'm, as we I'm see. certain. You know, yeah. we went over the Oklahoma area. The water had dropped this afternoon, mm -hmm. but some of those areas that are completely saturated yeah. are beginning to fill back up again. This rain is coming down so hard in that area that, once again, we're getting that flooding beginning to develop again. All right, and Craig, uh, we do want to take a wider look at the radar view here. Uh, some bad news and some good news. And uh, let's go to that here, and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Here is, oops, uh, let's clear this line out. And it's kind of hard to get your bearings straight here. There's Louisville right here. There's this line of heavy rain that Craig's talking about. That's going across extreme southern Jefferson County and through Bullitt County. Again, uh, that's, uh, that's a type of rainfall that's an inch, an easy inch, mm -hmm. in an hour. Now, if we get any severe weather, uh, I would say we're, you're not going to get any north of Louisville. It's going to come off this line here or more likely down in southern Kentucky, where temperatures right now are at about 75 degrees at this late hour across south Kentucky. So a maybe for severe weather over the next uh, hour or so from Louisville on south, maybe a little better chance of severe weather there. Now, as far as the heavy rain is concerned, uh, we have this one line right here of the heavy rain pushing through the area at this point. There it is. And then we go to about two to three hours of moderate rain, then to light rain later on tonight, and then it should be ending there. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, my guesstimate is we're probably going to pick up a, at least, you know, after this heavy band moves out, probably at least another inch before things begin right. to die out. So undoubtedly, we're, we're talking about uh, totals in our area of around uh, 10 to 11 inches of rain in a 24-hour period, maybe a 100-year flood. That's what the MSV people are calling it, yeah. So, okay. That's the way it's shaping up right now, guys. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll check in with you in just a few minutes. Okay. Unbelievable. Within the last few hours, we can tell you the trouble has moved right into the city of Louisville, into the heart. Wave 3's Derek Jones is live in the West End right now with the very latest on that. Derek?
Scott, I am here at 17th and Dumanil, which used to be a major thoroughfare in West End, but you can see it's become a virtual lake. This is not the wonderful city of Venice in Italy. This is downtown Lola to the west, the West End. Cars have been left in the middle of the roadway just in the last half hour. This young lady driving this car found she couldn't go any further. The car stalled right in the intersection of 17th and Dumanil. Now, we're right near the Antioch Baptist Church, which the water is coming right up into the door. Obviously, those folks may not be having church tomorrow if the water doesn't recede. And the rain just keeps coming down. This scene is played out all over the city of Louisville. It's just like a massive sheet of rain completely. We're showing you pictures of other parts of the city. 24th Street, I believe you're seeing there. You can see folks that are just watching the water, standing. No way to stop the water. It continues to build. It continues to clog up roadways and coming up to the people's yards, into people's basements. One gentleman we spoke with a little earlier was trying to pump the water out of his basement as the deluge continued all day long.